cash or magic. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we'll take a look at the difference between a margin account and a cash account on the Weibo platform. So a lot of people have been moving accounts from Robinhood or M1 Finance to uh, Weibo. And so when they sign up, they, there's this question about which account type you want to open. So a lot of people um, similarly confused. So I thought it better to just do a video to kind of explain that. So, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, when you sign up for Weibo, uh, you get the option of picking what kind of account you want to open. So the account type. So there's two options. There is either a cash account or a margin account. So uh, a lot of people get confused. But before I even jump into the actual differences of those uh, two account types, if you are moving from, let's say, Robinhood or M1 to Weibo, especially Robinhood, uh, make sure that when you open an account with Weibo, you match the account type that you have with Robinhood. So if you have a cash account in Robinhood, make sure you have a cash account in Weibo. If you have a margin account with Robinhood, make sure you open a margin account with Weibo. Um, if you open a cash account with Weibo and you have a margin account with Robinhood, what you can do is you can go into Weibo and actually change the account type from a cash account to margin. The only problem there is if the account doesn't have over $2,000 $2, and some change, um, you cannot uh, convert it to uh, a margin account. So you have to have over $2,000 in the account um, to uh, convert it to a margin account. So um, that's the little I just want to let you guys know. So let's uh, look at the differences here between uh, a margin account and the cash account. So as you can see, um, the account type or a cash account, you know, on, on the Weibo platform um, has an unlimited net account value. What that simply means is that you can deposit any amount in the account. It doesn't matter. Um, and, and so there's no limitations with how much you can deposit in the account. Whereas a, a margin account on Weibo, you have to deposit at least um, uh, $2,000 or, or zero to $2,000 to get you started. Uh, and then uh, based on how much you have deposited in the account, um, it limits the amount of trades that you can perform. So uh, in, in Weibo, when you have a cash account, you have unlimited trades. Again, in Weibo, when you have a cash account, you have unlimited trade. I'm just repeating that because a lot of people coming over from Robinhood would probably hear that and, and think like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Um, whereas if you have a margin account, um, if your value is between $2,000 and $25,000, you get three day trades in five business days. So if you do one day trade today, you do one day trade tomorrow, you do one day trade on, on, on Wednesday, or on Thursday, I'm just using Monday through Thursday here. Um, what's going to happen is that you are you're going to fr Thursday and Friday you can't do any other day trades. You're going to have to wait until the next week again before you can actually start uh, day trading again. Um, and so I mentioned that you have unlimited day trades with a cash account, but here is where it gets a little bit tricky. So um, the only money that you can use to day trade in a cash account would be Kaja has settled. So for instance, if you have, let's say $1,000 in your account, and then you use that $1,000 and day trade with that money and, and buy and sell a, a particular security, um, that money, you cannot use that money again, even though you've sold that security, you cannot use that money uh, immediately to buy another stock and sell it. You, they can let you buy it, but you cannot resell it. Um, if you do that, they'll give you what I call uh, a good faith uh, violation. So if you don't want to, um, the little trick about that is for most people, if you have a thousand dollars, I'll say split that money into two. $500 a piece and then what you do is you use $500 to trade today and then use $500 to trade tomorrow and then the next day when you come in the $500 that you started trading with would have settled and you can use that so just a little trick for you for you guys so so let's go through it so um, margin accounts once you have over $25,000 and you get unlimited 
day trade so you can buy and sell as much as you want and then with margin accounts um, you get uh, short selling so for those of you that are new to this what I mean short selling is that you can actually um, sell a security at a higher price and then buy at a lower price and make profit just like when you go long so if I for instance if I see a stock that I know that the price is gonna go down um, let's say if it's ten dollars I can I can sell that stock at ten dollars and then wait for the price when it goes down to say five dollars and I can buy at five dollars so I just made five dollar profit per share so that's short selling but with a cash account you, you can't you know, do short selling so that's one of the downsides of a, of a cash account so um again those are the, the key differences between a cash account and a margin account so you're probably asking yourself like which one is right for you so if you if you anticipate uh, oh even before one other thing that i didn't mention and i really really this is very very important with a, a margin account in webo is that they give you leverage and by leverage i mean if they give if you deposit let's say ten thousand dollars in your margin account they give leverage they can give you maybe a, 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 a times two leverage so you can have twenty thousand dollars to deal with um to, so using that money you can make um, a lot of profit at the same time you expose yourself to losing money so in, in so here's a good example if you have a cash account you buy security and that security goes down to zero you only lose the money that you put in there but if you use your leverage in the margin account and buy a security let's say you put uh, ten thousand dollars you buy a security for say twelve thousand dollars using two thousand dollars leverage if that security uh, goes down to zero you you don't only lose your ten thousand but you owe two thousand dollars to Webo that you're going to pay with interest so that's just something to to be aware of so um those are the key differences between uh, a margin account and a cash account in Webo. So you're probably asking yourself right now, like, hey, which of this account is good for me? I would say that if you are somebody that is not very comfortable losing um, a ton of money um, and not using leverage, I'll say you can do a cash account too. You know you're only dealing with your own money. Um, but the, the downside again for that is you cannot do unlimited uh, trades. But if you are somebody that's looking at doing day trading um, and you, you want to consistently trade daily and you know you would have over $25,000 in your account and then a margin account is, is good for you. Because even if you don't use the leverage uh, on your margin account, but you, you still have unlimited day trades so you can buy or sell as many times as you want with your margin account in Weibo. So there you go, guys. Um, that's, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comment section, what kind of account do you have? Um, which, which one do you prefer, margin or you prefer cash account? It's like, hey, cash account, I can only lose my money and I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, a margin account, I can lose my money and lose the leverage and I have to pay back with interest. Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, guys, stay motivated. Thank you.